want a slow heartbeat? You got Christian Javier, Hunter. Yeah, Christian Javier, the invisible fastball. Dusty Baker was saying, I never heard of an invisible ball. Like, I don't know what that <laughs> means. Well, he's seeing it from Christian Javier, and we all are. The Yankees saw it. See what Javier has for the one, two. He's got a strikeout of Taylor Ward. <laughs> Three time MVP. It's two and two on him. Javier rings him up. Back to back strikeouts to open Friday night. After these first two batters for the Angels, it looks like uh, the, the fastball still feeling good for Christian Javier. Uh, Shohei Otani, game number 500 in his big league career here tonight. Javier to pay it off. Sky high in the air to right field. Shohei, did you? Where is that going to land? Otani with number 18 in the Halos with an early 1 0 lead. Took a hanging slider for a ride, went 394 feet into the second deck. Michael Lorenzen, the starting pitcher today for Los Angeles, coming off a season low three innings of work and a loss to Seattle last Friday. Lorenzen fools him. I heard you, it was too late. I heard you, but it was too late. Sounds like sounds like Peña was trying to call time. Bill Miller said, I heard you, but it was too late. The last dozen games, batting 390, slugging 659. That's on the ground of Velasquez to Renjifo to second for one. A turn two. So Lorenzen gets out of the jam. A little helmet smash for Bregman if the Angels still have a one to lead. He's batting 400 over his last seven games. And Christian Javier doesn't care about that. Another strikeout is third thus far. It seems like that fastball is working for Javier today so far. Jake Odorizzi on his way back as well. Another strikeout swinging for Christian Javier. It takes an incredible athlete to be able to throw strikes that are swinging this. Brandon Marsh takes the first pitch to left center, but it goes right into the glove. Of McCormick. So a 1 2 3 inning for Javier with two more punches. Dusty Baker just trying to pick people's brains. Hey, you know, what's keeping Yuli from going off? And it's been the fastball. Guriel didn't care about that fastball. In the air to left field and into the Crawford boxes. Dusty said they've been seeing some encouraging signs. That's another one. We're tied. Inside fastball as well. He turns on it, which is what was one of his greatest strengths last year. Make that make sense. There's a strikeout for Lorenzen. Outside those two big swings. I'd like to know what pitches they were. If they're fastballs, then it just means he likes 100. Like, throw it 100, please. Now it's Jake Myers' turn. Takes the 1 2 to right field. That one's hit well. Jake Myers has put Houston in front. I don't know if it's the, the thunder lightning outside or the storm has created the air, but the ball is flying wow. tonight. That's his first home run of this season, an oppo laser. One, two on the ground. Velasquez will range and flip to Renjifo. And that ends the second inning. He's got a fastball with late carry, so he can throw it at the bottom of the zone. And <laughs> hitters think it's going to drop out, but it stays up. That, that. That pitch was middle middle. Pitch. Counts full on him. <laughs> Strike count swinging. Number six for Javier. It's <laughs> just dirty. Pena on third. Tucker leaning off first base. He'll take off. Bregman swings and goes the other way. It's going to be deep enough. Pena tags and scores to make it 3-1. And Bregman will get himself an RBI here, execute. And just the other day, guys, he announced that he and his wife are expecting their first child. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, Audie. Amazing news is that one is down the line and fair. Matajevic going to score Tucker and add to the Astro lead. And the Astros just keep adding on good at bat after good at bat. He's got a battle runner in scoring position less than two outs. You've got to get this ball in play. He does on a base hit to center field. One run will score. Make it two. 
Jake Myers having a night. And it's still just the third inning. Three innings, three RBIs for Jake Myers. And this is he earned this one. He stayed in on the front door slider. Now it's McCormick's turn. Fly ball McCormick. And he watches this one. 7 1 Houston. And he got both cheeks 8 to 1 Houston into this one. Oh. That's a thing of beauty. Oppo way back. Pick up some of the sounds there at home plate. It's poked high just beyond second base. Renjifo is there. Frustration from Lorenzen, the Angels starting pitcher. It's now 8 1 Houston. Houston has done as good a job as any. 127 career games. There's a strikeout from Javier. Trout entered tonight hitting 259 with a 919 OPS. One, two, waved at. There it is, nine straight innings with at least two strikeouts for Christian Javier. Sitting in their chairs for an evening. Great vantage point here at Minute Maid Park. Run off! Wow, wow, wow. Delayed strike three call. That's 10 for Christian Javier. I know, you catch one spike and you're gone. You're down. Velasquez says, I'm not striking out. I'm going to hit a fly ball to left field. Leaping at the wall and catching it is McCormick. He gets a round of applause from the folks here at Minute Maid and the starting pitcher. There's a strikeout from Javier. This one goes up to 11. Marcus in scoring position. Opponents are batting just a buck 60. The streak is alive for Christian Javier as he strikes out Ward for the third time tonight. That's a dozen for the Astros stud. It remains 8-1. Seven run game in favor of the Astros. Got him. Strike three. Fastball looking. 13 strikeouts. Ties. A career high for Javier. Back to back games with the Baker's dozen. There's strike three called. And a new career high officially for Christian Javier. 14 strikeouts and 12 straight innings with at least two. He is absolutely shoving. That brings up Lee, and we go down to Heidi. Yes, first major league at bat here. I wonder if he's going to go deep like Jeremy Pena did. Anyway, uh, Dusty Baker said he's not going to be overwhelmed with the moment. That's the thing that most impresses him about Lee. Corey Lee in the air to left field. Just on the track is Marsh. Everybody here in Houston was feeling something special for that first one. But he's got it out of the way now, and he gets a nice ovation. The 0-2 swung through and missed strike three from Paredes to end the ball game. An 8-1 win for the Houston Astros.